This is something, again, that's not widely known. A, a Judaic community in Ethiopia, they say mm -hmm. that their ancestors brought the Ark of the Covenant to Ethiopia. We're told this in great depth in the Bible and how dangerous that energy is. Well, this concept of winged figures is also uh, very much part of the ancient Egyptian heritage. So what exactly is this Ark of the Covenant that everyone keeps talking about? Well, the Bible describes it as a pretty impressive piece of religious furniture. Imagine a chest made of wood but completely overlaid with gold. And that's not all. It had a fancy lid with two golden angels facing each other. But its importance wasn't about its bling factor. Inside this chest were the stone tablets containing the Ten Commandments, the foundation of the agreement between God and his chosen people. The Ark wasn't just a box, it was the holiest of holies. It represented God's presence among them. The Bible even gives super-specific instructions on how it should be built and handled. Only certain priests were allowed to carry it and they had to use poles, so no direct touching. Initially, the Ark was kept in a portable tent-like structure called the Tabernacle during their desert travels. Later, it got a permanent upgrade when King Solomon built his temple in Jerusalem, where it rested in the super-sacred inner sanctum. For centuries, the Ark of the Covenant has been a source of endless fascination. This legendary golden chest, as described in the Bible, housed the tablets of the Ten Commandments and symbolized God's presence among his people. But since its disappearance after the Babylonian conquest of Jerusalem, its fate has been shrouded in mystery. Now imagine the headlines. Scientists have pinpointed the Ark's location, ready to reveal one of the greatest archaeological discoveries ever. Or have they? The world of Ark of the Covenant theories is a tangled web of historical speculation, passionate belief, and some outright wild ideas. While serious scholars generally focus on the likely destruction of the Ark in antiquity, the excitement of uncovering this legendary artifact leads to an array of persistent, if often far-fetched, claims about its whereabouts. Let's dive into the supposed secret locations and why the fascination with the Ark refuses to die. Jerusalem, the heart of the Ark's story, remains a prime focus of speculation. The Temple Mount, the site of the ancient Jewish temples, is a maze of tunnels and chambers. Could the Ark be hidden in these unexplored depths? Some historical anecdotes lend a sliver of credence to this idea. Prior to the Roman siege in 70 AD, Jewish priests might have taken extraordinary measures to protect the Ark. This opens the door to legends of secret passages and hidden vaults beneath the sacred site, for the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, the question of the Ark's location is settled. They believe it resides in the Church of Our Lady Mary of Zion in Aksum. According to their tradition, the Ark was brought to Ethiopia by Menelik the Parand, the son of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. The Ark is never displayed and is closely guarded, making verification of this claim impossible. However, even the possibility of the Ark's existence in Ethiopia holds immense religious importance as a tangible connection to the object at the heart of Jewish and Christian traditions. Where mainstream archaeology often reaches a dead end, conspiracy theories rush in. One popular narrative involves the Knights Templar, medieval warrior monks who amassed wealth and influence during the Crusades. Did they uncover the Ark in Jerusalem and bring it back to Europe, though there's no historical support? This idea fuels thrilling stories like the Da Vinci Code, where secret societies and hidden lineages protect the Ark and its supposed extraordinary power. Beyond the Templars, other groups like the Freemasons get drawn into the orbit of the Ark of the Covenant. Conspiracy theorists often imagine these societies as possessing esoteric knowledge, wielding the Ark as a tool of influence or hiding it for their own ends. Some theories go fully into the realm of the fantastical, Think of the movie Raiders of the Lost Ark, where the Ark possesses terrifying destructive might. These ideas stem from biblical passages, warning of the danger of approaching the Ark improperly. Could it be a weapon, a repository of supernatural energy? For some, these exaggerated readings open the door to outlandish speculations. The supposed locations of the Ark take us on a global tour. Some theories link the Ark to the Lemba people of Southern Africa, who have cultural practices and genetic markers suggesting a possible Middle Eastern origin. Did their ancestors bring the Ark with them on a long-ago migration? Other legends place the Ark in Rome, plundered by the legions who sacked Jerusalem in 70 AD, and rumored to lie hidden beneath the churches or even within the Vatican's vast archives. Stranger still, some claims take the Ark off-planet entirely, 
painting its origins as extraterrestrial technology gifted to ancient humanity. The classic rectangular chest shape sometimes draws comparisons to Egyptian ritual boxes as well. The Ark's allure persists in its unique blend of power, danger, and the thrill of an unresolved mystery. But where does this perception of power come from, and how has it shaped our understanding of the Ark across time? The Bible itself is the source of the Ark's awe-inspiring reputation. It's not just an object, it's described as a conduit for divine presence. The elaborate rituals for handling it, and the stories of dire consequences for touching it, like the unfortunate Uzza, reinforce the idea that this wasn't merely a fancy storage container. While mainstream science rejects the notion of the Ark as a literal weapon, it doesn't stop some outlandish theories. Ideas about electrical charges, radioactivity or unknown materials try to explain away the Ark's biblical effects. Whether credible or not, these attempts add to the Ark's mystique. There's always that lingering question in the back of one's mind. What if? Fascinatingly, the concept of sacred chests isn't unique to the Israelites. Ancient Egypt brimmed with portable deity shrines, and other cultures used similar boxes in religious processions. Could the Ark, rather than being wholly unique, be part of a broader cultural tradition from its time period? This adds another layer of complexity and historical grounding to the Ark's story. Even in other Abrahamic faiths, echoes of the Ark's significance linger. The Quran's references to a sacred chest with relics could be a trace of shared tradition. The Baha'i faith goes even further, transforming the Ark entirely into a metaphor for the divine knowledge revealed by prophets throughout history. This shows how potent the Ark's core symbolism remains. Over time, did the Ark shift from a physical object to a symbol of the Covenant itself? Replicas might have existed, powerful in their spiritual weight even if no longer containing the original tablets. Medieval art depicts the Ark with dramatic flair, influencing modern representations despite often diverging from biblical descriptions. And of course, pop culture loves the Ark. Remember Indiana Jones and his face-melting encounter? It's the perfect mix of historical enigma and a touch of the supernatural, a guaranteed recipe for a thrilling adventure. This potent mix of history, mystery and the sheer potential for thrilling narratives keeps the Ark's flame alive. But why does the Ark of the Covenant hold such power over our imaginations? Here's the key. Historical gaps exist. Its disappearance during a turbulent time leaves ample space for speculation. Did it perish? Does it lay waiting to be unearthed? The uncertainty is a blank canvas where theories can easily take root. Whether one approaches the Ark from a perspective of faith or historical curiosity, it represents something profound, a connection to the divine, a symbol of God's covenant with the Israelites, or a relic of a bygone era. This emotional and spiritual dimension adds fuel to the quest. Secret societies, hidden clues, quests against the odds, all these elements make for gripping tales. The Ark is embedded in a storytelling tradition that, while not always historically accurate, is undeniably captivating. Deep down, we are drawn to the unsolved, the mysterious. The Ark, straddling history and legend, is the ultimate archaeological puzzle that may never have a definitive answer. While scientists discover, makes for a thrilling headline, it's crucial to inject a dose of realism into the Ark of the Covenant narrative. Most reputable archaeologists view the Babylonian destruction of the first temple in 587 BC as the most likely end of the Ark. While not impossible, the survival of an intricately crafted, gold-covered wooden object over millennia, through battles and sieges, seems improbable. Locations based on legends often lack physical evidence to support archaeological exploration. Claims need tangible proof to transition from speculation to scientific process. Additionally, Many of the places rumored to hold the Ark are actively used for worship. The search cannot come at the expense of violating religious sensitivities or disrupting communities built on deeply held beliefs. The Ark of the Covenant sits fascinatingly on the line between history, faith, and the enduring human desire to uncover the extraordinary. It's unlikely that any future discovery will fully satisfy everyone. After all, the enduring power of the Ark rests partly in its enigma, is there a chance the Ark is still out there? Perhaps, but the true treasure might lie in what this ongoing search reveals about ourselves, our need for stories, our reverence for the past, and our unending capacity for wonder.